we are going to talk on the topic of principles of selection what is selection what are the factors which improve the genetic performance of an animal on what factors we select an animal what are the different types like the pedigree selection or what is progeny testing these all terms we are going to discuss in today video so let's start first of all let's discuss how the imp uh, genetic improvement occur in an animal there are two factors which involved in the genetic improvement first is the genotype and the next is the environment both these factors like the genotype and the environment play an environment role important role in the improvement of the animal genetically if we talk about the factors involved in the environment or what are the practices which we may improve to ultimately make environment beneficial for the animal or feeding management and disease control the most important is the management and feeding these both factors play an important role very vital role in improving the environment for the animal the next is the genetics this genetics improvement depend on the frequency the frequency of the desired genes what are the improvement we are searching in an animal and the genes related to those traits or desired traits will be measured in the frequency and the frequency of the desired genes ultimately is related to the improvement in the genetics environmental improvement is immediate but temporary we can improve the feeding of the animal we can make the management better we can control the diseases but these are temporary practices but the improvement in the genes or the genetics is a slow process but it's a long lasting but it's a persistent the animals once improved genetically they are going to transfer those traits to their descendants mass selection family selection tandem selection independent culling level and selection index one by one in the letters mass selection mass selection is very uh, is very you may say deep genetic practice as it is based on the animal's own performance it is used for highly transmissible transmissible traits like the growth rate like the production rate of the animals and we are going to discuss only taking the animals own performance single or multiple records we may take and if we are going to make multiple records then it's better for us to decide an animal and the trait on which we are going to make a decision of selection of animal that trail trait must be of high genetic control and the trait must be expressed in both sexes like the female and male and if we are going to wait for multiple records it can reduce progress per year so that's the benefit of keeping the records as it can reduce our time and we can make progress fast even fast 
So next is family selection. Pedigree selection is the very first one involved in the family selection. On what basis we perform pedigree selection? Pedigree selection is based on the performance of the ancestors. If we are going to perform on the ancestors, then definitely we are keeping the records of the ancestral performance. And the second point is used when individuals own performance is not available. What was in the mass selection? We are we were talking or we were taking the animals own performance. But in the family selection or pedigree selection, we are not taking animals own performance okay pedigree is not available or not recorded sampling nature of the genes infrastructure and facilities are required to perform the pedigree selection next type in the family selection is progeny testing Progeny testing is used in the selection of the males for sex limited traits. Such animals or such male animals which are having sex limited traits, we are going to select these animals. And if a bull is mated to random cows, then how can we predict? we are going to then we are going to have to perform the progeny testing to predict the kids or their parents some freezing semen freezing facilitates progeny testing this is the facility we are having if we are going to want to perform progeny testing that is semen freezing increased generation interval occur in the it's not very much efficient method of selection what is tandem selection is not much efficient method of selection next is the independent culling level for each trait a minimal acceptable level is set and if we come to failure failure to meet that minimum acceptable level for any one trait it may cause culling of an animal so this is the ne one more type of selection that is independent culling level animal good in one trait but marginally bad in other got rejected suppose we are running a dairy farm and we are having some animals which are not giving us the milk according to their required or according to their productive potential then we are obviously going to cull such animals so that was an example of independent culling level next is the selection index in the selection index total score method is involved or the total score method is used to perform the selection index total score method is related to the points those points may be scored on the basis of the production appearance color or the activeness of the animal and the determination of value of each trait separately this score is determined on the basis of traits but each trait is scored independently and separately addition of values to get a total score we may add some percentages are the constant 
to get some total score animals with highest scores are selected <coughs> as those animals which are having more productive performance are the more results are we are going to discuss or we are going to select in our next progeny more efficient method of selection than the tandem selection or culling so selection index is more secure method of selection than the tandem selection or culling that's all about our today lecture if we are having if you are having any question you may ask in the comments please like subscribe share and comment in the comment box thank you very much assalamu alaikum